Hello fellow cinephiles, Film Guru here. Today I'm reviewing The Drowning Pool. It's a film that came out in 1975. 1975. Um, it was directed by Stuart Rosenberg, who'd done, previously done Cool Hand Luke, um, another one of Paul Newman's sort of well-known films. Um, and it stars Paul Newman, Melanie Griffith, and Joanna Woodward. And it is the story of a big city uh, private detective who travels down to the deep south um, to help out a, an old girlfriend who is worried that her husband will find out that she's cheating on her. Um, look, this is a sequel to um, 1966 Harper, and it really sort of follows this guy, you know, Lou Harper yet again, played by Paul Newman, um, going to see his ex-girlfriend um, that he hadn't seen in six years. He's trying to help her out due to her being blackmailed about her having an affair with someone and they didn't want, and she didn't want her husband to find out. Um, as soon as he gets there, he's unwanted. They don't really want him there. He's sort of nearly chased out of town. He's been accused of different things. Melanie Griffith's character sort of shows up. Promiscuous sort of character that he throws out of his room. And there's just some really colourful characters throughout it. And this, is, this was made um, nearly 10 years after the original, you know, 10 years after Harper. Um, and just watching Newman in this again, he's fantastic. And, and it's like, as he got older, his acting got even better and better. And he just wears his character like a, a nice leather jacket. He just slips straight back into it. The humor's still there. The interest in the character's still there. They still have this great scene at the start where he's trying to start this car um, that he's hired and he needs to put his seatbelt on and he can't and he keeps trying to get it on. It's just a really funny scene. I think it sets up who he is um, through the film. And look, it's good to see you know, Paul Newman and Joanna Woodward acting together. They were married at the time, and to see them sort of bounce off each other, and, and they were both really solid actors. Um, Melanie Griffiths is kind of good in it. Um, in her early career, she's only young in it. Um, she played a lot of promiscuous sort of characters, um, you know, sort of that sort of thing, and very sexualized a lot of the time in these sort of films, um, which I found find a bit weird, but I guess it is of that time. Um, and it's just a really interesting film. Obviously, it's you know made in the seventies, so it doesn't have the same feel and look of this the the you know the nineteen sixty six one, um, but it, it it really captures that sort of seventies feel. It's very solid. It's very fast paced. It's well done. Um, the story is sort of interesting, and it follows one sort of story, and there's different players and elements to that story. And what's really great about it too is that it answers all the questions that we have. By the time we get towards the end of the film, there's still a few questions we want to know about particular things, and they're all answered. And this is something different. This is something they don't usually do. They don't usually go back and answer them all. And if, with the, when Newman did Harper, they didn't really, um, there was a few loose ends in that that didn't tie up, where this one they made sure all of those were tied up in a great, nice and interesting way. The stuff I really liked about it is the things I mentioned, and, and like Paul Newman is just really great. He's he never overplays things. He's you know underplays things very well. He says so much with a look, and there's certain so many scenes in that that you know exactly what he's thinking. So when they get st stuck in a situation, you see his brain working out how to do something and how to survive and get out of the situation that he's in, um, which not a lot of characters sort of do that they usually just do something we don't know why or they talk it out where this is like really seeing how his mind works um, and, and developing this sort of thing as it goes along you meet some really interesting characters some of the acting isn't crash hot but most of it's pretty solid especially from the seasonal actors um, Melanie Griffiths is great like I think that her early career she was sort of a solid actress and as she got older she got better and like we haven't seen her in a long time in a sort of film and I miss those sort of early films of hers. The music's really great, there's a lot of great humour yet again. Um, I was unaware that this was actually a sequel to it. It, it took watching the first 10 minutes or so to realise that it was a sequel to it. You know, Harper and Paul Newman was playing the same sort of character, just older. Look, final verdict, if you like Paul Newman, yet again, if you like a good detective story, if you like um, just a good solid movie that came out in the 70s. If you like movies from the 70s, you might enjoy this. It may not be for everyone, but anyone who's a fan of Paul Newman should thoroughly enjoy this sort of film. I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. I think it is a good solid film. Um, and it does sum up a lot of stuff where the first one didn't. Um, but I just felt Harper was 
better made or there's something about that I enjoyed much more. Not saying that there's anything worse with this film. I just didn't think it was as good, but it was still a good solid movie. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, please hit subscribe down the bottom. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies. <laughs>